congratulations on the purchase of your new Zodiac MX-8 mechanical suction cleaner. The Zodiac MX-8 is a leader in mechanical suction cleaners thanks to its built-in smart technology and a great ability to pick up light and heavy debris with its large cleaning path. For added peace of mind, the MX-8 is backed with a two-year warranty. In this video, I will walk you through the correct installation process for the MX-8. Before we start, however, there are a few important steps you must take to ensure your pool system is in top working condition. Firstly, block off the access from the main drain to the skimmer box. Empty the skimmer basket, then manually vacuum the pool. Ensure you adjust the inlet eyeballs so they are either downward and towards each other or downward and towards the centre of the pool. Finally, check the water chemistry. Correct pH levels will preserve the life of your MX-8. It is important to note that you must remove the cleaner from the pool during superchlorination. If your pool pump is on, please ensure you turn off the pool pump before proceeding to the next step. Now, in your pack contents, you'll find the AD flow valve. This works by regulating the water from the cleaner to the pool pump. In Australian pools, there are four common types of vac plates. Depending on the type of skimmer box and vac plate you have will determine how the AD flow valve will be connected. With a water coat vac plate, screw the AD flow valve connector into the top of the vac plate. With the pull right vac plate, screw the AD flow valve connector into the bottom of the vac plate. With any other vac plate, you will need to substitute the connector for the universal weir cup, plugging it in from the top of the vac plate. Finally, with a skim troll vac plate, you won't need the AD flow valve. What you will need is a 90 degree elbow. This has recently been introduced in the MX-8 pack. If you don't have one, they're readily available from your local pool shop. Now that the AD valve or 90 degree elbow is correctly installed, let's move on to attaching the hoses. Find the leader hose in this pack. This will have an orange sticker and hose float attached. Once you have this hose, remove the orange sticker and connect the flow regulator valve and then attach the MX-8 head. The flow regulator valve works best in high flow conditions as it bypasses excess water. This has been a recent addition to the MX-8 packs and will help the efficiency and longevity of your MX-8. Once the cleaner head is attached, submerge the cleaner head until you no longer see bubbles. Submerging each length as you go and continue until you reach the furthest point of the pool from the skimmer box, then add another length of hose. You can now attach the hose lengths to the skimmer box. So now that your flow regulator valve is installed, it's time to see if you have the correct flow. Ensure you have a stopwatch on hand as you'll need it to measure the flow through the cleaner. At this stage, you can now turn on your pool filter. Lift your MX-8 cleaner just below the water surface so you can see the back right wheel. This will have a yellow wheel speed indicator attached. For this exercise, you will need to count how long it takes the MX-8 wheel to complete 10 revolutions. Ideally, it will only take between 20 to 25 seconds. The yellow wheel chip located on the back right wheel will help you count the 10 revolutions. If it takes more than 25 seconds, you will need to increase the flow to the cleaner by either adjusting the AD flow valve to three, or if you have a skim troll vac plate, you will need to turn the cage clockwise on the valve to increase flow. If it takes less than 20 seconds, you will need to decrease the flow to the cleaner by either adjusting the AD flow valve to one, or if you have a skim troll vac plate, you need to turn the cage anti-clockwise on the valve to reduce flow. Just a quick note, if you need to change the settings on your AD valve, ensure you turn the pump off and then turn it back on once adjusted. Let the MX-8 sink to the bottom of the pool and you're ready to go. For more information regarding care and maintenance, please read the owner's manual online and thanks for watching.